cojones, tattoos, and massive misses. All that with these guys on Arsenal Nation. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Arsenal Nation. It is a new season, we have a new look show and we have two very special guests here with us to talk everything about Arsenal and football in general. So please welcome back to the show. It's his second appearance. It's Mr AFC Sharkey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank really you. loving the applause, isn't he? <laughs> uh, and welcome into the show for the first time. It's his debut. It's Mr Jake Boyd. <laughs> Thank you very much. Boys, thank you very much. Boys, you get it? Boys, now. Yay. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Now, there's a lot to talk about. First of all, you can't avoid Troy Deeney's comments. They've been absolutely everywhere in the media. He basically said, we lack cojones. So, first of all, Sharky, I want to come to you and say, did we lack cojones against Watford? Did we throw it away? Uh, first of all, I want to say, when he said that, I didn't know what cojones meant. So, I had, it, to, I, had to, I had to Google it straight <laughs> away. I was like, what does this mean? I found out what it meant, and um, it was a bit harsh. But then again, if he's saying that and he's he's playing against us and um, I'm watching it and I'm thinking towards the end we did lack fight compared to the first half and even our captain, Mertesacker, did allude to that by saying it wasn't a wake-up call. Um, like it was a wake-up call, it wasn't a wake-up call um, at the end. Yeah. It's, 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 you can't, you just got to really shrug it off and just be like, fair point, mate. Yeah, fair point. all right. Jake, let's bring you in. What do you think? Agree or disagree? Did we lack owners? I agree and disagree. Okay. I think... There's a lot more to it than that. I think if chances were taken, the game would be completely different, really, especially once the penalty that wasn't a penalty happened. Um, but I, I think chances need to be taken, to be honest. Yeah, and actually Watford, if you look at how clinical they were, they had two shots on target and obviously they scored twice. We missed two absolute sitters. That's the game really there, isn't it? Yeah, it just needs to be a bit more clinical. And maybe there was a bit of fight lacking, especially once that, that penalty went in. You do want them to bounce back, really. Yep. To see another goal going the other way, it's not what you want to see. Let's bring in the comments of Martin Keown. He loves to comment. And he basically said that he hopes the players heard that. If you were one of the players, what would you say to that? Um, well, me, per I've got cojones, me personally. <laughs> so so I, would, I would take it on board and I would literally be like, you know what, I can't have other people saying this about me or my club. So I would like just prove them wrong next game. And hopefully the players are, will do that and prove everyone wrong in the next away game, which is Everton, I believe. So hopefully... We won't get those comments again. All right, if you're watching at home and you want to have your comment read out, leave a comment in the box below. You can also go onto Twitter and use the hashtag Arsenal Nation, and we might be talking about your comments next time. Now, listen, in the press this week, there's been a lot of comments from Arsenal legends, not just this week, but all season. Paul Merson has come out and been very vocal. He's not the only one. Ian Wright's also had his say after the Liverpool game. Meza Ozil felt the need to reply to comments and took to his social media and said this. Jake, my question is, should comments by legends come through, filter through to the players? Should we be listening to them? Or really, should they just be supporting the team, like Mezzet's saying? Uh, it's so difficult because obviously they're legends for a reason. You know, these people have been at the club, they've succeeded, they've just done incredible things for the club and they're now saying their thoughts about a current team and of a team they've played for. And you do wonder whether that is the right or wrong thing to do. But I mean, everyone has a freedom of speech, so. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They've been there, they've done it. But are their comments valid in football nowadays because the game has changed quite a lot? And also, Sharky, is it counterproductive for people to be getting on the backs of Arsenal players? I think going off the uh, back of what Jake said, they are legends at the end of the day. Like, they've got, their, like, a right, they've, like, got a right to say what they want. Like, they've made their own legacies and they've paved the way for our current players. But I don't think they should be openly criticising our team and I don't think they should be saying things about our players and kind of like ruining their morale or stuff like that. And Mesut replying, um, I think, was a good move from him. And, yeah, I think I agree with that completely. Yeah, absolutely. Do we, do we want to hear more from the players, Jake? Does it show that he's got some cojones that we're saying that we're missing at the moment? I think the players coming out and saying something like that shows that they... It almost shows a bit of a fighting spirit and, like, they, they want to give it back. Yeah. But it must be so hard hearing from... Just legends' oh, comments, to be it. honest. These like, guys, you're putting the Arsenal shirt on and these legends that you've... They've been your icons yeah, for so many times are coming them, out yeah. and criticising you. It's difficult to play football in this league. Do you think it's more difficult in this league nowadays than it was back in their day? You also yeah? get a lot more digs at you these days with all the social media. That wasn't yeah. around, you know, like... Yeah, you're right. They, that's, that's if they thing. made mistakes when they were playing as legends, they wouldn't necessarily have had to deal with it as soon as they get home all over their phone yeah. and stuff. But these days, you're hit by it. You can't get away from it yeah, if you make a mistake. Yeah, really point. It's a really good point. Now, we've heard from Meza Erzo a little bit. It's time now to hear from Granite Xhaka. We set him a game of yes or no. What could go wrong? 
No, but now I am an Aston London fan. No. Yes. Uh, national team under 19. I don't understand this question. Can man is ananas okay off a pizza? Oh no, never. Off? Shouts to Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones, the TV show? No, I don't know this one. Is this an English um, TV or? Fantasy show with uh, weird. Game of Thrones is the most famous show on television. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. I watch only football at home. Sometimes. Yes. What was that? Secret. I never tried, but if I score next time, I tried. Yeah. Yes. No. No, there was all player was happy. I don't know. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Be good. Okay, if you say yes. Go no. thank you. I love that, but he doesn't watch Game of Thrones. Sharky, what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. Game of Thrones, can I just say it now, is the greatest TV show I've of all time. I've never seen it either. You haven't seen I've it I've never either. seen it either. What is wrong with you? I've always wanted to watch it, but I just never got it's around to it. It's the greatest thing ever created. I'm missing out. I mean, it's, it's borderline better than football. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Borderline. Oh. All right, boys, time for the next segment. What do you think of Manchester City? They've been absolutely incredible since the season started this year. Eight games, 29 goals. That hasn't been done since 1894-95, and that was Everton. I mean, that's some feat, isn't it, Jake? It is an incredible amount of goals. You know, their style of football now is exactly what Pep wants, I think. And it is... They are just scoring an unbelievable amount of goals, and their, their football is so good, their passing is so good. It is it's something to watch, yeah. for sure. It is. It took, it took Pep a while to get used to the Premier League, and people were criticising him last season, weren't they, saying, oh, he didn't know what to expect, and yeah. he thought he was going to come in and win it again in his first season. He's got it right, yeah. and it, they're frightening up front, aren't they? I mean, look, look at like, people like Gabriel Jesus. He's currently benching Aguero. That's They've got incredible squad depth, and you can't not talk about Kevin De Bruyne. Best, mid like, best midfielder in the world? Best, right now, is best midfielder in the yeah, world. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. They have the squad depth all over the pitch. Yeah. Admittedly, they did have quite a lot of fun in the transfer window. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with a little dibble dabble over there, was there, Pep? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would love some of that, so our Arsenal. But honestly, Kevin De Bruyne, Gabriel, who's like, I could talk about every single player in their squad. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, we're not going to do that because we don't have time. So I need to move <laughs> it on. What do you think of this incredible miss? Boys, have a little look at this. This is in the Dutch fourth division. So these guys were 2 0 up. And at this point, here you go, have a look at this guy, oh. beats a defender, skips it past the goalkeeper, open that. goal, what's he going to do? That's going to go in. Skyrockets it. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> not, that's not... They it went on to lose real. that game as well. They went on to lose that. But, so my question here is, <laughs> <laughs> what incredible Arsenal miss would you like to take back? I mean, do you want to just react on that first, Sharky? Because you want to say something. Can I just say that yeah. that's not humanly possible? <laughs> <laughs> it does not look real. It's more that's... difficult to do what he did than just slot it in, isn't it? It's, 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 it's harder to miss. It's it's harder to miss it. That is ridiculous. <laughs> what? I know. Wow. Right, let's bring it back to Arsenal, though, Sharky. So, what okay. miss in history would you want to take back? Um, I think the one that, that hurt me the most and affected me the most has got to be Van Persie's against AC Milan. Or like, we lost 4 0 on the first leg. We were making a comeback. It was 3 0. He's in front of goal. I love the guy. Honestly, yeah. I, I love him so much. But he tried to dink it over the keeper and he couldn't, like, yeah, I, I, that hurt me so much. So if I could take that back, I would. That's a good one, Jake. What about you? What I'm you not going to go back too far because I wanted Arsenal to get their first away win of the season. So I'm going to Chelsea the other week oh. with Lacazette. Very nearly could have stole that win. Could have been first three points on away from home. That would have been lovely. And first win at the bridge in years as well. It so. would have been lovely. All right, boys. What do you think of football tattoos? Do you have any? First of all. 
I've got a few tattoos. Football ones or normal ones? Uh, no, none of them are football ones. Oh, they're, um, what are they? They're quite something. One's a minion on my leg. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got a camera, a palm tree, a stick man with my friend's name on it. Oh. Minion's the most impressive there. Interesting. Standard tattoo. Interesting Shark, have you got any? No, I don't. I don't. But, Not inspired to get a but stick But I, I want to see that minion. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe, I want it, like... maybe we'll see it. Now, we need to talk about football tattoos, really, first of all, because mm -hmm. I want to know what you think about these ones. There's some good ones. Have a look at these. There you oh, go, wow. look at that, the Hand of God, Maradona, that and the really Arsenal yeah, crest actually, right. on the, the left. One's really cool. I mean, those ones are quite decent, but there's some bad ones as well. Have a look at this one. Arsenal's new signing, a marquee <laughs> signing this season, Alex Lacazette. <laughs> but some people have said it looks a little bit more like Darren Bent. Oh my yes, God. Yes, there you <laughs> that It does is, though, doesn't it? It does. What? All right, here's a question for you. A Which thing. current player would you get a tattoo of if you had Ooh. to? Current player. Who would you go first? Go first oh, first. current player. When I was younger, even now, my favourite favourite when I was younger, maybe not now, was Theo Walcott. Oh. But I'd want to get someone who I feel like is going to be here for a while because I can't just scrub it off. Seriously, I've tried it with a minion. <laughs> so I'd either go for Theo, Wal Theo Walcott, Aaron Ramsey, or Wilshere. Wilshere is like Arsenal oh. through and through. But I don't know. I like those. I like those options. What about you? Are you actually thought through that really well. Like I didn't even think, oh, who's going to stay? I just thought my favourite players. So. Kashonli, Ramsey, uh, Ozil, those players I like. Two for Ramsey. But then again, like you said. Well, you've got to make your mind up though, pick one. Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey? I was, was going to Ramsey say Ramsey as well, as well. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, he's quality. All right, cool. I'll go Per Matasaka. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> I just love him. I think he's amazing. <laughs> I love Per Matasaka. He's Arsenal through and through as well. Anyway, okay, we're almost at the end of the show, but we just have time for the back four. Four questions, one minute. You're going to have to rapidly move through this. Okay. Are you ready? 60 seconds on the clock, please. All right, here's your first one. The Dutch Prime Minister offered Belgium a province of Holland for Kevin De Bruyne. So my question is, what would you give up for Kevin De Bruyne? I'd, um, my leg. So I can have whatever, leg. I'd give up my right Anything, leg. whatever, whatever want he wants, whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, just have it. <laughs> All right, fine, let's move on then. <laughs> Poch criticised Deli Ali for diving. Do you think he's right to, or should managers back their players under any circumstances? Yeah, I think managers should back their players. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Really? Yeah, yeah. Unanimous. All right, there we go. Lacazette's mum told him not to be a goalkeeper. So what my question is, <laughs> best piece of advice that your mum has ever given you? Uh, not to support Tottenham. My, her brother's a Tottenham That's fan. A good oh, I like cool. that. So I like she told me not to support Tottenham. My so. mum always tried to give me good advice, but yeah. then I just never followed it anyway. Always been a bit of a daredevil. A renegade. <laughs> so she gave me bad advice. Did she tell you not to get a class. minion tattoo? No, she didn't. My <laughs> mum loves it. My mum loves the minion, yeah. All right, there we go. I think Hector Bellerin is having a little bit of an iconic hair moment, but some people will disagree. Uh, what are your thoughts? Is he? Yes or no? I prefer to hair short, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I did as well, but it's more iconic when it's long, isn't it? Like... All right, stop the clock. That's it. 60 oh. seconds each. Oh. That was perfect timing. <laughs> you actually did really well. First take as well. Well done, boys. Uh, now, if you want to get involved in the discussion, you can comment in the box below and also go onto Twitter. Use the hashtag ArsenalNation. Boys, thank you so much. Uh, AFC Sharky for coming back. And Jake, boys, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was great. Thank you very Brilliant. much. Well, we hope you both come back soon. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and a round of applause. <laughs> If you like that, check this out. So he's laughing. <laughs>